just want to make it marginally better every day, every year. As a child, we were in Chicago years ago and we walked through a hotel that was going to be torn down. And obviously there was no value seen in this hotel, the building as it stood from the current owners. And I said, I think to my parents or to the, whoever told us that as we were walking through the hotel, boy, I would take this place if they're just gonna tear it down. And I think that kind of started the, the wheels turning in my mind. I think it's just uh, in my nature to want to reuse things and, and kind of bring back the, uh, the building. Not exactly how it was because our world's changed, but to bring it back and kind of, while you're paying homage to what was there, um, be mindful and respectful of what people require nowadays in order to get these buildings occupied. Many areas in the city were probably as unique or more unique and they're no longer here. Where the arches, that was a big neighborhood and somehow this area stayed really, really, really well intact and it um, makes it very interesting as a redeveloper because you kind of have a, a map, a road map of how to how to bring these buildings back. A lot of businesses have, have stuck around for a long time and done really well from taking that initial plunge. And I, I kind of point to the Latino businesses as a, as a good example. These guys came down here, they cobbled together restaurants, much as I cobbled together renovated spaces and, and went in with little capital and just kept reinvesting any capital that they, they had in gains to make their businesses better. People have given uh, people around here a place to eat, have authentic Mexican food. People from downtown come here to, to enjoy the food and it's been really, really interesting. Our business association, um, we're doing a multi-cultural committee to try to figure out um, how we can embrace the different cultures that exist down here and make sure that people are being heard and that they feel that they're being heard because that's truly what makes Cherokee very rich is our eclectic mix of, of different people. Every project is unique and every project is challenging and in and, and whatever field you're in, whether you're an accountant, an artist, a teacher, I mean everyone's got you know challenges that they encounter and um, it, it, mine is not unique in that but the coolest thing about what I do is I get to work with a team of people that will take a building such as this that you could see out of the roof the floors were all rotten all of these joists in this space had to be replaced seeing a space that was uninhabitable habitable and people living there and you know seeing an event in this space this is an event space and seeing the lights on at night with 50 or 100 or 200 people in here is probably the most gratifying thing i've got a uh, old brewery building that i would love to do the lower level of which are 45 feet deep basements so they're two levels down that have I guess spring water at the bottom, but how cool would it be to have a brewery there again, you know, in an old brewery building? And um, I think the more critical mass we get, the more realistic, crazy projects like that will be. This entrepreneurial environment, arch grants, the historic tax credit program, some risks that we're taking to make the city and the region a better place, I think they're gonna start paying off.